Welcome back to my channel. Ang topic natin ngayon ay tungkol sa conditional statements. So this video, magpo-focus muna tayo sa introduction about sa conditional statements. Kung ano ba yung conditional statements at saka kung paano natin ma-determine yung hypothesis at saka conclusion ng isang conditional statements. So ano nga ba yung conditional statements? So accordingly, ang conditional statements ay isang compound statements. Meaning, ang conditional statement ay may two or more simple statements. So, tatlo or dalawa or more than two na simple statements ang isang conditional statement. So, compound siya. The conditional statements also can be written in if P, if P, then Q form, or in if P, comma, Q form. So, Dalawang way ng pagsulat ng conditional statements ay if P, tapos kama, the then Q form. Next naman, yung if P, kama, then wala nang then. Diretso na sa Q. So, the conditional statements is represented by the symbol, this one, yung arrow, going to the right, hindi going to the left. So, dapat ganito yung arrow for conditional statements. So, ano nga ba yung ibig sabihin ng P at saka Q? Sa sinabi ko kanina. So, yung P statement is called the antecedent or the hypothesis. Sa mga ibang libro, hypothesis ang tawag sa P statement. Yung P statement, yun siya yung first sentence after ng if. After ng if na word, P ang next na sentence. Yun yung P statement. Yung Q statement naman is called the consequent or the conclusion sa mga other textbooks. Sa ibang book, conclusion ang tawag sa consequent. May, may, may mga books naman na ang tawag sa Q ay consequent. Yung iba, conclusion. Depende na sa inyo kung ano yung gusto nyo gamitin, kung hypothesis or conclusion ba yung tawag nyo sa P and Q. Pero for this video, for this example, ang gagamitin natin itong antecedent at saka yung consequent. So let's have an exercise on how to identify the antecedent and the consequent of each conditional statements. So, meron tayong limang statements na gagawin or i-identify kung saan yung antecedent at saka yung consequent for each sentence. So, for number one sentence, meron tayo ditong, if I had the money, I would buy the painting. So, by the way, I forgot to mention kanina, yung conditional statements in symbolic form ay ganito, P, if P, then Q. So, ganyan. So, ganito yung, ito yung use ng arrow to represent ng statements ng if then statements. di ba yung arrow, if then yan siya, if then na symbol. So, if P, then Q. So, yan yung, ganito yung symbolic form ng conditional statements. So, let's go back to the given sentence number one. If I had the money, I would buy the painting. Diba kanina yung sa meaning ng conditional statement, pwede siya na if P, kama, Q, or if P, kama, then Q. So, either sa dalawa, either sa dalawa yung pagkasulat pero conditional statement. Yung isa, walang then, pero conditional statement pa rin yan as long as may if na word. Na dito, may then, so, of course, this is a if then statement, so conditional pa rin. Dito, walang then, pero conditional statement pa rin to kasi itong number 1, sumusunod siya sa form na if P, comma, Q. If P, comma, Q. So, if I had the money, I would buy the painting. So, yung antecedent niya ay, I had the money. I had the money. Kasi, mauna yung if, if muna eto and then p comma q so meaning yung q natin i would buy the painting so yung consequent natin ay i would buy the painting so ganito lang yung pagdetermine ng p at saka q yung antecedent at saka yung consequent unang-unang tatandaan mo yung if at saka yung p ay magkasunod yan sila so if p so, yun yung I had the money and then I would buy the painting for the consequent or the Q. So, for number two, we have the statement, If Shelly goes on the trip, 
Kama, she will not be able to take part in the graduation ceremony. So, dito sa ating statement, same lang to sa number 1. So, if P, comma, Q. So, meaning, yung antecedent natin or yung P statement ay, Shelly goes on the trip. So, para naman sa ating consequent, nandito na yung Q statement natin ay, she will not be able to take part in the graduation ceremony. So, she will not So, ganun lang yung answer natin for number 2. Sa P statement natin or yung antecedent natin ay Shelly goes on the trip. Sa consequent naman, she will not be able to take part in the graduation ceremony. So, ganun lang yung for number 2. For our number 3 statement, we have if they had a guard dog, kama, then no one would trespass on their property. So, ngayon, meron tayong word na if at saka then. So, if P kama, then Q. So, dyan pala nga alam nyo na yung answer sa ating number 3. So, ang, so, ang P statement natin or yung antecedent natin ay they had a guard dog. Para naman sa consequent, which is this one, the Q statement, ang consequent natin ay no one would trespass on their property. So, this is the answer for our number 3 statement. So, for our number 4 statement, we have, If I don't get to school before 7.30, comma, I won't be able to find a parking place. So, meron tayong, state, meron tayong word na if dito. And then, next will be the P statement. And then, comma. And then, the Q statement. So, ang form ng statement or ng conditional statement na to ay if P, comma, Q. So, from this representation pa lang, alam na natin kung ano yung antecedent at saka yung consequent ng ating given statement. So, yung P statement natin or yung antecedent natin ay I don't get to school before 7.30. So, for our consequent, we have the Q statement. The consequent and Q statement, the same lang yan. Now, the Q statement is, I won't be able to find a parking place. So, for our last example statement, meron tayong if I change my major, kama, I must reapply for admission. So, meron na tayo ditong if na statement, uh, if na word, and then next will be the P, of course, and then kama, and then Q. Uh, dito pa lang, malalaman natin kung ano yung antecedent natin at saka yung consequent. So, yung antecedent natin ay, I change my major. And then, yung consequent naman or yung Q statement natin, of course, yung I must reapply for admission. So, ganun yung pag-determine ng antecedent at saka yung consequent ng isang conditional statements. 
So that's it for our video on introduction to conditional statements and on how to identify the antecedent and the consequent of the conditional statement. I hope you've learned something from this video. Thank you for watching.